How young is too young to breed your doe? Stick around and we'll cover that. Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. On these three boys that we banded exactly a week ago they're doing really well and they are definitely anxious to get with the herd and we are as well we want them out grazing um, you know so that they're not eating hay but edge here is just a little too bucky still he he still is acting a lot like a buck when the does come up on the fence so we're gonna leave him in here for at least another few days and let things take their course, let them uh, still settle down a little more, and then we will be getting them with the rest of the does. So come on and I'll show you guys what it looks like a week after banding them. Alright, so saffron here, if you guys see, it's hardening up, shriveling up, and they're drying up. You want to show yours, Edge? Or Dexter? Dexter here. That is what they should look like after a week. Edge here. So in some of the videos we had talked about how they were just loud, they were getting a little bit obnoxious, they were in their teenage boy stage, if you will. They have calmed down so much in a week, um, you know, taking those hormones away from them, if you will. So they're a lot quieter, they're a lot calmer, and just sweeter, sweeter little guys. So you probably noticed in a lot of the videos too, they're jumping all over me, which they do a little bit, but just nothing compared to, to how to how they acted before. So this, these boys will make really good pets. And they'll be sweet. So Edge here and Saffron will be sold as pets. They're gonna be going to their new home whenever I list them for sale, but they'll make great pets and we're gonna keep this pretty boy, Dexter, for a companion for Lodi. Cause we're not breeding Lodi, she's just a little too small. So he will be able to stay with us and be a little friend. Ha! Huh. All right guys, let's talk what a good size and age to breed your doe is for the first time. So these two does are the same age, they're five months old. And if you see, little Lodi here clearly um, has a lot more growing to do to catch up with Abilene here. She did get, you know, we had a little setback with her where she had the runs and lost some weight. So she is not going to be bred this year. Abilene here will be. She is um, 30 pounds right now. So when we breed in October, she should be good 35 to 40 pounds. And that's about the weight you should look for, 35 to 40 pounds to breed them. She's just pretty. So we do look for a few things, um, not, just, not just weight, not just age. We will breed at seven months old. Um, 
unless obviously something like Lodi happens, we don't want to wait. There's a lot of development that takes place in a doe when they are pregnant. They will get deeper bodied, of course they get their udder, um, and if you wait too long to breed them, it, it can affect them getting bred. They're, they're getting fat at, the, at this time because they're not getting bred and then producing milk and keeping the weight off. So when it's, it's a lot healthier for them to actually be able to have kids. That's, that's what they are, they're dairy goats. So some of the things we look for, just, she's really pretty, is, you know, I wanna see a deep, a deep belly. So she's got a good, a good deep belly. You also want to see width back here. So these are their thurls right here. So from thurl to thurl, about this age, I should be able to fill it or even have to move a little bit to fill thurl to thurl from my thumb and my middle finger. And she's, she's good. I'm also looking for from hips to pins, their rump here. That should be a nice long rump. And if you see hers, it should be fairly level as well. So you want it to be kind of level. I know in the kids, it's not always the most level thing, but again, as far as development's concerned, not waiting, this gets more level after their bread, their rump will. So she is good as far as, as far as width. Now, what that, why I'm looking for the width is because I wanna make sure they're able to pass a baby easily. So, and she's, she's right where she should be. Huh. And again, she'll get a little bit bigger, you know, we don't, we have a few more weeks before we start breeding, but she is right on target. So I'm excited about it. She's going to be a pretty mama. Huh. Let's see. All right, so back to Lodi here. For one, she's just little. She is 20 pounds and gorgeous, which is little, obviously. She, you know, she's developing, like as far as her, she's, she's deep bodied for the size she is, which, which I like. She's got, you know, she's just tiny. I don't know if she wouldn't be able to carry a baby. Um, and then come on in, I'll show you her width as well. I love this doe's width. She is very open, but thorough to thorough. You feel these little thoroughs, look. Like I can, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I would not have to reach at all. She's, they're right there. So, obviously, she's not gonna be wide enough. She's got you know, for her size, this is this is what she is. But technically, her size, she's about a three-month-old or something, size-wise. So, just not there yet, huh, girl? But when we do breed her, I'm really excited because she is one wide girl for her size. Want to show everybody how pretty? So overall guys, what you're just gonna be looking for, the weight for an IG, 35 to 40 pounds. You wanna make sure they're deep bodied, thorough to thorough. They're good and wide, you can pass a baby easily. So from here to here, what you're looking for, thorough to thorough on her, don't really have to stretch at all. Um, you know, obviously really good health, make sure they're good and healthy and, and your dough will be just fine to be bred. Some sad news, really. These two girls um, are going to go to a new home on Wednesday in New Mexico. My friend has been wanting Bindi for a long time and she is going to buy her. So it's not, Bindi is a beautiful doe, gorgeous doe, one has a lot of ribbons, but
but selling her and Laura here is going to help us continue, you know, with the feed and all of the care and the cost that it actually involved with, with running a ranch. So it isn't free by any means and this is really going to help us get all the way through the winter even just selling these girls. So not always the easiest thing to do. Always got to make hard decisions when you're running a ranch. And I had intended to keep this sweet girl because she's gorgeous, but she's got my herd name and maybe I'll see her in the ring in New Mexico. And she's going to make somebody really happy and so is Bindi here. So this is, this is the goodbye because she's going to be coming out here Wednesday evening all the way from New Mexico. So it's going to be dark, it's going to be a quick transition and she's going to get right back on the road. So. Not always easy to make these decisions.